I'm Mariah and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my skincare routine. This is something that I have not touched on yet. I wanted to share this with you because in my early 20s I started really getting into skincare and looking into how to protect my skin and keep it nice for as long as I possibly can. And I looked into a lot of YouTube videos when I was looking for this and got a lot of ideas on some different products. Everything that I'm going to talk about today is very affordable and I think I bought every single thing at the drugstore so that's a plus too. So if you would like to see what I use for my skincare routine, just keep on watching. Alright, so the first step, of course, is removing your makeup and cleaning your face. So I actually use one or both of these products, and I like to use the Neutrogena face wipes, like everybody else. And I like to use these if I want to remove my makeup before I'm cleaning my face for a really nice clean. And I also use these sometimes when I'm being a little lazy and I don't want to take the time to wash my face. Because it is a wipe, it just gets it all off real nice and easy. So I turn to these on my lazier days and my very clean days, which is kind of weird because they're complete opposite, but sometimes you just feel like you need that little extra clean. After using the wipe to get my makeup off, I then go in with a cleanser, and I use the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. I want to say that Lester Lux was the one who recommended this, and I did go out and buy it, and I really, really like this, and I think the reason why is because it is an exfoliator, but it's one that you can use every day because it's not too harsh. So a lot of exfoliating face washes are very harsh on your skin and it kind of just makes me feel a little bit dried out or rough sometimes if I use them too much. And this is one you can use every single day because they have those really small microbeads. So it does exfoliate your face and it feels really nice when you're doing it, but it's not going to be too much to do every day. On top of that, it does have the five factors of radiance, so those five are tone, texture, dullness, blotchiness, and brown spots, so that's a lot of different issues that people might have, and this does target all of those. I would say the best thing for me is the tone and texture of my skin. It gives me a very smooth feel to my skin, as well as evens it all out for a very even tone. So I really do like this. It makes me feel awake and very refreshed, and that's a really good feeling. I always cleanse my face with this at the end of the night, but sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I feel like I just need a little bit of rejuvenation and a fresh feel, I will use this on my face as well, because this just really does make you feel so much more awake and fresh. Whenever I use a waterproof mascara or some type of eye makeup that just isn't coming off, I also like to wash my face with the Avon Moisture Effect Eye Makeup remover lotion and I like this because it's not very oily so I know when I tried the Maybelline eye makeup remover it was super oily for example if you messed up your makeup and you used the Maybelline one to try and get your makeup off and start over it was just too oily to work with you'd have to completely wash your face again because the makeup didn't sit right on the oil so this one doesn't do that to me and I really like that about this one and it gets it off very easily in a couple swipes the only thing is this does burn if it gets in your eyes, so be careful with it. I just use a little cotton pad to apply this and just use very light circular motions. Of course, as always, when you're working around your eyes, be very careful because the skin around it is sensitive. Then after cleansing my face, I like to use a toner, and the one that I like is the Neutrogena Alcohol Free Toner. So there's a reason why they say not to get alcohol toners, and that's because they can be very harsh on your skin. So this one even says on the back it is specially formulated to provide clean, refreshing, toning without the harsh drying effects of alcohol. So when you use a toner that does have alcohol in it, it might dry out your skin. And then you might have to use a little bit more moisturizer on your skin to kind of counteract that and give it a balance again. Sometimes with washing your face a lot, it'll strip your skin of the natural oils that it needs. So when I use a toner, I feel like it just kind of goes back in and gives me that really even balance. And I really like the effects that it gives me. This is my second bottle and I'm almost through it. So I would say that this is definitely a great one for me and it's one that I've really loved. And after the toner, you always need to go in with a moisturizer to just give your skin a little extra moisture if it is dried out from any of those chemicals or the harsh exfoliating or anything. And the one that I really love is also Aveeno. It is the Aveeno Positive radiant daily moisturizer and this one is so smooth it leaves my skin feeling so soft and I love that feel this one also has SPF 15 in it so that works to help protect your skin and that's awesome to have in a moisturizer or in your makeup to just kind of give your skin a little bit of extra protection and keep it nicer for even longer and the last thing for moisturizers is the L'Oreal Revitalift eye cream and I really like this stuff I feel like it helps to eliminate the wrinkles and fine lines and I get those a lot around my eyes which is what this is intended to help with but but I also apply this to my forehead because I get a lot of fine lines and wrinkles there. And I do feel like this works. If I apply this consistently, I do start to see a reduce in wrinkles and fine lines on my face. And that is a really awesome thing for a skin product. And I do feel like it just does help give my skin a little bit more elasticity, which as you get older, that's just one thing that happens. You start to lose that. So 
Eye creams are very helpful for that because eyes are usually one of the first spots that start to see signs of that because the eyes are so sensitive in the skin. And I don't do everything I should to protect my eyes. I know I've talked about it in makeup tutorials about how I pull my eyes to try and get my eyeliner on. And that is so bad for you. And I hope that one day I can master the art of eyeliner without touching my eyes and pulling on them because that would be great. And maybe even eliminate the need for this stuff. But for now, this is one of my great friends and it works really well. And that is it for my skincare routine. Those are the things that I use every single night and sometimes in the morning if I need a little pick-me-up as well. I hope that you guys had some ideas of new things you want to try out because I really do stand by those products I just showed you. I've went through a couple different ones that didn't really wow me and these are the ones that I've really stuck to and held on to in my routine. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. I really enjoy letting you guys know some different things that I like and just talking back and forth with you about makeup and skincare and hair because it's something that I'm passionate about. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye! And those five factors are tone, texture, dullness, blotchiness, and I forgot the fifth one, brown spots. I'm filming. I'm wrapping up. I was literally about to do my closing piece. Guess I gotta wrap this thing up.